what do you think is going on in Putin's mind? Because Putin has recently said he's willing to have negotiations, but he talks about what, he, what his terms are is essentially total surrender for Ukraine. I think, I, I think he's, he didn't change his main idea. And sometimes he's playing just for some leaders who are waiting some emotions from Putin to hear something about peace. And sometimes he can give some messages to Global South or somewhere, and, and they begin to speak. You see, they begin to speak. You see, Putin is ready for dialogue. What dialogue? He is a player, and he feels this weakness of the West and Global South. He is finding where is the place where they are not in unity, where they have different interests. And uh, I think that is a problem that uh, uh, people have to understand that his mission is not to stop the war. He doesn't want to stop anything he, because he doesn't need and he afraid very much of successful Ukraine. It's not about even victory. But then how will the war end? Because y you're not going to get a total victory, it, it seems to me. You're not going to drive him out of all of the Donbass and Crimea. He's not going to be able to occupy Kyiv. So there will have to be some compromise. It's uh, when you're very strong, when you're very strong. And the other side knows that you're very strong and you're as strong as possible to make influence on his society not to be very happy with this war because he afraid again i repeat it again and again because i'm sure in it he afraid only one thing no leaders no countries no nothing he afraid of his society russian people and if russian people are in danger if they don't have comfortable life if they if they live without energy like our people they will understand the price of the war and they will be not happy with it and they will begin to influence on him, on Putin. That's why I said, make Ukraine strong and you will see that he will sit and negotiate.